That was tedious. And then of course there's this place. I'd make a joke about how often that fort changes hands, but I feel like it's already been done. the road. Not like someone like me should be on the road, but still. Stop. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? I think you must be making a mistake. Odd. That can be arranged. Time to end this little game. I'm not. <sighs> Calm down. You should have stayed in your precious forests, Ed. Alright, I'll shoot you just for being a racist. I think I got him in the knee. Get down off your horse. <laughs> yeah, I should stay off the roads. Grima, let's go see what we did. With any luck, I can go around this time. Although... Better idea. I'll be back.
isn't going to be pleasant to be fighting my way in and out of Dawnstar every single time I have to come here. It might be beneficial to get whatever it is taken care of. What idiot stays awake at this hour? That isn't a vampire, I mean. Yeesh. like someone came in and cleaned up the blood anyway. <whistles> Good evening, Babette. Or morning, I suppose. I'll admit, I'm having trouble coming to terms with all of this. I'll just follow Nazir's lead. This is all a little, um... odd, isn't it? Should probably get that cleaned out. I'll have to get someone else to do it, though. Oh, great. Well, hey. Nazir. Looks like things are settling in here, more or less. Well, what word of the Emperor? He's dead. Very dead. Truly? Truly. Could you have brought us more wondrous news? Recent events notwithstanding, this is a happy day for us, my friend. Despite your misfortunes, you stayed true to the Dark Brotherhood. You've saved us all. And for this, you have my eternal thanks. Now, of course, I must ask. Killing the Emperor, how much did Motier pay for such a thing? Twenty thousand gold. Although... I did hand that gold over to Zaytest, since she's the one who actually did it. However... She may be able to help us. Ha! Remarkable! Well, the old bastard certainly made it worth your while, didn't he? Now, might I offer some advice? You should go to Riften and find Delvin Mallory. I believe Astrid had you visit him once before. Uh, I don't think Mallory's so. Mallory's an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. Make a true home for us, huh? You do that, and I'll see what I can do about recruiting some new additions to our family. Oh, well. Well. 
Would it be possible to have say Tess look into it anyway? Uh, instead of me. Considering she is in Riften more often than I am. She did offer. Now here's a question. Where... Where's Cicero? I would have expected to find him. Um, hello? What is this? These old eyes can barely see. But I can always sense the presence of Brethren of the Brotherhood. Who are you exactly? Ah, <sighs> no one of any consequence any longer. My name is Gregor. I was once a vital young assassin of the Dark Brotherhood. Like yourself. Answering the call of Sithis. <coughs> <sighs> now I spend my days and nights here, awaiting my eternal embrace from the Night Mother. I do have one final piece of knowledge left to impart. If you would bear it, it brings with it great power and a great curse. Well, I'm already pretty cursed. Might as well hear it. I have been the keeper of a relic known as the Hand of Glory for the better part of my late life. The what? The Hand of Glory is a dark relic. Sought by all thieves and assassins who know of its name. <coughs> the hand is much what it sounds like. A severed hand. Cleaved from the body of a wrongfully hung man. The hand itself possesses a great curse. What kind of curse? The will of the hanged man imposes itself on the hand. To grasp futilely for revenge for his missed death. Why would I want a cursed hand that's trying to kill me? The idle hand is given a task. To bear the light of another soul wrongfully committed to death. This light comes by way of a candle. Itself formed from the remains of one wrongfully condemned. So long as the hand has the candle to bear. <coughs> its powers will give the holder great boons not seek to demise the bearer. And what would I gain from carrying this hand around? Any who have crafted and bear the hand of glory from the hanged man's hand will be rendered invisible, as well as become a master of the arts of finesse. And light shall ever be cast upon their path. However, powers are draining and tax the holder's vitality magic, and well-being. And if the candle ever burns out entirely... <coughs> the bearer of the Hand of Glory will perish along with the flame, and their soul lost to oblivion. I don't think I can take it from you, Gregor. Your name was Gregor, right? I have too much to worry about now. To worry about... My life being extinguished with a candle flame. But, it was good talking to you. I hope the Lady of Whispers gives you some rest.
what strange people I attract. Someone else could probably make good use of that hand. Not me. Titus Mead the second lies dead, and the Dark Brotherhood yet lives. But our work is just beginning. Approach me, listener, and hear my words. Do you feel the need to give me a heart attack every single time? Oi. Alright. You know you don't need to use the coffin. Yet, Yet another, another child has prayed to their mother. mother. Speak with, with the grief-stricken chef. At the Wind Peak Inn, here in Dawnstar. Dawnstar. Accept his gold, then eliminate, eliminate the target. Well, alright. You just like seeing me squirm, I take it. I'll be out, my bet. Cicero, there you are. It's good to see you again. Oh yes, it is Cicero. <laughs> you are a fool to spare me. What did you think I would be grateful? Cicero should be listener, not you. Now you will die. Gotcha! <laughs> oh, Lister, you should see the look on your face! <laughs> oh, Cicero has returned! Not to kill the kind Lister, but to serve until one of us dies horribly in service to our mother. Best friends forever. In the meantime, I'll make myself at home in the sanctuary. I'm sure mother needs... Tending. <laughs> you go right ahead. It is good to see that you're still joking. Mephala, I hate you sometimes. Now, with any luck. Uh, I'm gonna have to deal with that bounty, aren't I? I wonder what I even did. This is going to be a challenge, I think. Actually.
What was that? Stop right there. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Our hero, our hero claims a warrior's heart. I tell I'm you, looking I for tell a chef. you, the dragonborn comes with a voice wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe the Must dragonborn be comes. Our brotherhood. It's you look the type. The Listen, there's this grim shield maiden walking the street of Markarth. Kill her. Now take this gold and go. Well, the darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know Markarth. That's gonna be fun. Well, this is not, uh, ideal. Riding a horse through a swamp. Fewer spiders in the world. You're welcome, Arden. Now, where the hell am I going? Smells like a riftin' all the way up here. Or a person who's from Riftin' anyway. Let's go see what this is all about. Hello? Who's there? Well, I'll be. Ingen Blackbriar. You're not dead. What? It can't be. You? Me. No. Sweet Mara, what have I done? Go away. Just go away. Relax. I'm not here to kill you. You got away. You lived. You did as I asked. I'm just surprised to find you here, that's all. Oh, well. What are you doing in here? Wondering why I was smelling a blackbriar this far north. No offense, of course. You don't smell any particular way. I'm just a vampire. I once tracked an imperial from Hamar's shame to the shrine of Meridia by scent. I see. That wasn't a threat, just a statement. 
No, I'm more interested in offering you a job. Now that, for one thing, you've lived this long outside of Riften, and for another, I have a job to offer. What? What kind of joke is this? Well, I've often been told my jokes are awful, this is not one of them. My name is Ingrath Stormsong, and I'm the listener of the Dark Brotherhood. The Dark Brotherhood? Oh, I... Yes, we are, surprising though it may be, still around, if somewhat different from the organization your mother is used to bribing into submission. <laughs> my family. All that wealth and they squander it on foolish ventures and political schemes. I was meant for so much more than all of this. I wish to pledge my life and ply my talents in darker circles. You're not just saying that to get me to spare your life, are you? No. Well, then, this is about as dark a circle as one can find in Skyrim. If I remember correctly, you're an alchemist, right? I'm aspiring to earn that title, yes. Master Elgrim says I'm a natural, that I have a unique talent. But I fear his approval masks his intolerance for my mistakes. We happen to have someone at the Sanctuary who could teach you more if you really want to do this. Yes, indeed. It's exhilarating to observe the effects of my potions on the body. Watching the heart stop, the eyes go blind. We're made up of thousands of parts with thousands of different functions all working in tandem to keep us alive. Yet if only a single part of our imperfect machine fails, life fails. It makes one realize how fragile, how flawed we are. You seem fascinated by death. Not a bad trait for someone in our trade, but I have to ask, why? You ask why I'm so fascinated? The irony, the irony that the same world that gave us life provides us the means to die. Why are you looking at me like that? You'll make a good assassin. You remind me of... An early protege of mine. A young Breton woman, smart as a fox and talented as anything. She outclassed me in short order, and died defending the sanctuary in Breville. I tell you this not to garner sympathy or even pity, but so that you understand that I remember the old ways. Before Astrid. Before the fall. The Dark Brotherhood is supposed to be a family, and I intend to take care of my own. Admittedly, there isn't much to join anymore, but those who remain have gone through the depths of oblivion together. So, would you be interested in joining us? Helping this band of vultures get back on our feet? Very much so, yes. Then you'll need a new name, Ingen. Even in our ranks, it would be dangerous to have people knowing who you are. What's your preference? I don't know. I just want to learn. I don't want to think about what's expected of me. Do you have a favorite plant? Nightshade is native to the pine forest and marshy tundra regions of Skyrim. They're beautiful. And, of course, the only names I can come up with are the names of people I've worked with. No offense, but you don't look like a Perdetti. Well, other than the black hair, anyway. Not exactly a Nordic name, now is it? That just sounds like nonsense. Oh, damn, I only half remember the story, but... Daughter of a giant or something. Finer ones. Lyris. That's what it was. How about Lyris Nightshade? Oh, that sounds lovely. Thank you. All right, then, Lyris Nightshade. Follow me. Let me show you where home is. Now, there are five rules you need to follow in the Brotherhood. Five tenets. One, don't piss off the Night Mother or her Keeper. You'll know if you do because someone will get on your case about it. I'd call this the most mild offense. It used to be a lot stricter, but frankly a little jabbing never hurt anyone unless it was with a shiv. Two, never betray the Brotherhood or our secrets. Don't tell anyone where the sanctuary is, don't give away plans, don't break client anonymity, that kind of thing. Whether or not you tell people that you personally are an assassin is on you, but anything that could endanger the rest of the organization will earn you a visit from our silencer. 3. If a superior gives you an order, follow it, unless it goes counter to another of the tenants or is something you're not capable of doing. 
I've never found punishing someone for asking questions a good way to garner respect, so I don't count clarifying confusion as refusing an order. If in doubt, and I'm not the one giving the order, bring it up the chain of command. I doubt Babette and Azir would tell you to do anything you couldn't do, but just in case. 4. Never steal from your brothers and sisters. Or from me. We'll probably be more forgiving for a first offense, but it used to be punishable by death or exile, so keep that in mind. 5. Never kill a dark brother or dark sister. That is the quickest way to an early grave. It should be noted that Astrid broke all five of those tenants, and it was my responsibility as listener to dispatch her for it. I may be the most lenient listener since the dawn of the Dark Brotherhood, but even I have my limits. Nazir is our speaker. He's the red guard with the sarcasm. Can't miss him. Don't cross him, but he's friendly. That bat will be your teacher, at least in terms of alchemy. She looks young, but she's older than I am, so don't let her fool you. Cicero is the keeper. He's a little weird, but he's good with daggers if you need a few... pointers. Sorry. Finally, there's Zaytest. You may have heard of her, actually. She comes across as flouncy and disorganized, but she's sharp. I trained her myself. She isn't around much, but she's our silencer, so if you ever meet her in a dark alley, you'll know you've done something horribly wrong. Welcome to the Dark Brotherhood, Lyris. That was, again, tedious. Alisan, I'd like you to meet Ingrath. He's one of our finest marksmen, and I do hope you can learn something from him. Not to be rude, but... You only have one eye. How can you even aim? I listen. You listen? Well, how's that going to help me? I'm not an elf. First rule of being an assassin, girl. Silence is our battle cry. I thought the first tenant was... I ain't talking about tenants. I'm talking about the rules of engagement. I see you two are going to get along just fine. She outranks you now. How do you feel? Proud. She's come a long way. Hmm? So have you. <laughs> what I mean to say is I... What I mean to say is, I think she's more than earned the right to boss me around. You sound like an old man. You know, normally it's a bad idea to ride towards dead creatures. You never know what could have killed them. It smells a bit like werewolf around here. Smells a lot like werewolf around here, actually. Oh, that would be why. Understand me. Her 
ever seen. That is fucking terrifying. I just wanted to let you know. Okay, we're just going to run this one. Easy, Grima. 